In this demonstration, we'll take a look at how to use autopsy to perform an analysis on a local hard drive. Now to launch autopsy after you've installed it, you can click on the start button, type AU, and you'll see the autopsy program. What you're going to do though is you're going to right click on the autopsy program and choose run as an administrator. Want to know, are you sure you want to run this as an administrator? Yes and it'll launch our autopsy program. Now, while this is loading, I should mention that in this demonstration, I'm performing the analysis on the local hard drive that's on the system. Uh, from a computer forensics point of view, you would always perform the analysis from a copy of a suspect's drive. You would never perform the analysis directly on the drive. Um, so typically what would happen is you create an image of the drive first, and then in autopsy, you would add the image as a data source. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new case for us to work on. And I'm going to type in the case name. So it's 2021-0827. And let's say this is the second case of the day. So uh, underscore 002. And then I choose next. We fill in the case number. And maybe it's the same. So we'll do 2021-0827. Uh, underscore zero zero two and then we fill in the examiner's information so um, the name of the person their phone number their email address and any additional notes that you want to add about the case so then I choose finish now once I create the case it's going to pop up with the add data source dialog box a data source is what is it that you're analyzing is it going to be an image is it going to be a local hard drive um, so you can see here disk image or VM file is our first option local hard drive is the second option you could also do things like add logical files if you wanted to now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to show you at any point in time you can invoke that add data source dialog box um, with the add data source button up top on the toolbar I'm going to add the local hard drive or local disk and choose next then I go and select the disk and I should mention I'm going to choose drive zero here. I should mention that if you did not run autopsy as an administrator, you won't have the local hard drives. You'll just have that Lexar disk uh, in the list. So I'm going to choose OK here after choosing drive zero. And then I'm going to go and choose next. Then it wants to know what ingest modules we want to go and execute. Um, these ingest modules are used to extract or parse through the drive and extract relevant data. So for instance, um, web recent activity is an ingest module that'll go and retrieve things like their browsing history and that. Um, so I'm going to leave all those selected. And I do want to stress that it does take a while for those ingest modules to execute and um, extract the data. And even when you get access to the data with autopsy, um, you will find that they will, the ingest modules do run in the background. So I'm gonna hit next here. And what it's doing is it's processing the data source and it's gonna add it to the local database for analysis. Um, and so within, you know, quite some time, a little bit of time is gonna go by, um, we'll have this, um, uh, a hierarchical structure of the drive and its contents, and also the results of the ingest modules executing for us to do our analysis. So this will take some time. So because it does take some time for the ingest modules to uh, execute and process and parse through all the data um, that exists on the drive, what I'm gonna do here is I switched over to a, um, an instance of autopsy running where I've actually been running those ingest modules for quite some time. So it has collected some information um, for, on my system. So I just wanna show you the types of information that you can see here with autopsy. Um, so over on the left, we do have our data sources and you can expand out the physical drive that you've added as a data source and you can browse through the data on each of the volumes that exist on that physical drive if you wanted to. Um, but also they have the views and with views you can see things like deleted files if you wanted to. Um, so it's a nice quick way to uh, locate deleted files and to browse through the deleted files on the system. And then down below that we do have our results and the results 
is where you'll find the extracted content that the ingest modules have um, parsed through on the drive and, um, and located. So if I expand out extracted uh, content, I just want to show you a couple examples of types of information that you'll find here. Um, so for instance, you can see the installed programs. And I should mention these numbers just changed in front of my eyes. Um, and it's because down bottom you can see that we're 88% executing those ingest modules. So it, it is going to take some time. And so you may see these numbers adjust as I'm, as I'm talking here, as it parses through the content and collects more information. But I could select this and I could see a list of the installed programs that exist on the system. Uh, and that's important for an investigator because those installed programs will also let the investigator know where else they should be looking for uh, information uh, or evidence, right? So there's a list of installed programs. Uh, as I go through here, I'll just highlight a few other things so you can see operating system information. Um, you can take a look at system user accounts. So if I go to operating system user accounts, you can see the different usernames that are configured on the system. Um, so that's very useful, useful for investigators. Um, you can see a list of recent documents as well. So you can see I have 249 recent documents. So when I select that node, it's going to go and display in a second here uh, a list of all the documents that have been recently used. And again, that's very helpful to the investigator because now they can go um, search for evidence in those documents. You see your recycle bin there, so you can see the contents of the recycle bin, any programs that the user is, has run as well. Also down bottom here, we have USB devices that have been attached. Um, so you could go and select that and get a list of the devices that have been connected to the system. So here, when I select this in my example, you'll notice over here that we do have the, uh, I have a Logitech headset that's been connected as a device. Um, so the G35 headset. Um, user content has been detected. So I can select that and I can see the different uh, images that exist on the system. And then they also have a thumbnail view that you can use to view that content as well. So here you can just see it's a few pictures I have of our heat pump uh, in the siding that was dirty that I had cleaned up. We also have user accounts, uh, like web user accounts. Um, this is very useful. So you can see any websites that they've logged into. Down bottom here also we have bookmarks. We have the uh, cookies in the cache from the browser, um, any downloaded files from the web. We have form field, um, form field addresses, so web form addresses that have been filled in. So we can see email addresses here that have been entered on the system. Again, that's very useful because a lot of times those are logon names to access uh, stuff. So you can you can use that. Also, we have the web form autofill. So the autofill feature for web forms, you can extract that data. And very important, we also have our web history. Um, so you can see the websites that the uh, person has visited. So that should refresh here in a second. Right, so there's some of the websites that have been visited. And then also you can take a look at the web search as well, right? Um, so you can see any web uh, searches that are performed. So lots of good information. If I come down here, they also have email messages. So um, Autopsy could extract emails from the from the data source and, uh, and allow you quick, easy access to the email messages as well. Uh, user accounts are there. So email accounts and phone numbers that the, that the user is using. So if we go to email, there's four email accounts that have been uh, detected on the system in the data source. So in this demonstration, you saw how to use Autopsy to browse the local hard drive and locate evidence. Thank you.